Ernesto Bergoño, a hotel worker in northern Israel, made a difficult decision to return to the Philippines due to the ongoing conflict between the Israeli Defense Forces and the Hamas militant group. He was among the 60 overseas Filipino workers who arrived in the Philippines on October 30, marking the fourth batch of Filipino repatriates. 11 months pa lang po ako doon. Wala pa po akong naipon. And marami pong bayarin. Pero ang sabi ko ng nanay ko is safety first. Kaya nag-decide din na po akong umuwi. Two other Filipinos share their frightening experiences during their time in Israel. Pang Tatlo ko na tong country na nag-work nag ako, so, pero part pa rin ng Middle East. But this is the worst situation na na-experience ko in my life. Yung kabilaan, North and South, nag nagliliparan yung mga missiles. Kaya't napag-isipan ko na uh, umuwi na lang po siguro kasi... Ang unang maapektuhan dito sa, sa akin yung mental health ko, susundan na po yan ng aking physical health. At sunod-sunod na po yan na uh, kung baga, makakasira po sa akin. In response to their needs, the government has assured that they will receive psychosocial support in addition to financial and livelihood assistance from various government agencies. Rest assured, based on the directive of the President, financial assistance, livelihood assistance, health support and psychosocial wellness support and skills training support, uh, lalo na sa mga kaanak na mga OFWs na nasawi na, na nagpapatulong na maghanap ng trabaho. According to the Department of Migrant Workers officer in charge, Kaktak, they are still processing around 200 repatriation requests from Filipinos in Israel and Lebanon. This comes amidst increasing tensions in the region. Rosa Licoz, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people. We give glory to God.